At least I saved the cake. Oh, hi. I'd like to take a minute to talk to the grown-ups out there. You know, it just takes a second for kids to get lost in a crowded place. And it's really scary for a kid. Not much better for the parent, either. So you should teach your kids, at a very early age, what to do if you do get separated. And better yet, how not to get lost to begin with. The best way not to lose your children is to hold their hands. And if you must let go, be sure that you can see them at all times. And tell them that they have to be able to see you from wherever they are. Remember that most children wander off when they're not being paid attention to or when their parents become distracted. Try to orient your child to the new surroundings by pointing out landmarks. If you have older children, you may decide together on an easy to find meeting place if you get separated. But younger kids should be told to stop, stay where they are, and look for someone nearby who works in the store or theme park or wherever you are. They should be told how to recognize store employees. Help your children to learn their full names, addresses, and phone numbers, as well as the names and numbers of their caregivers. Most of all, be sure your kids know to never leave the store. Excuse me. I've got to find a new line of work. Sticking together, that is what it's all about. Sticking together, every time that we go out, if I go If I go there, that's what you do. Sticking together every time that we go out. If you go here, I go here too. If you go there, that's what I do. Because we're Visit Sesame Street on the web at www.sesamestreet.com. One day, Edward was in the shed where he lived with the other engines. They were all bigger than Edward and boasted about it. The driver won't choose you again, said Gordon. He wants strong engines like us. <laughs> 